humbled before God for that sad and humbling providence that befell my father's family in the year about 92. That I, then being in my childhood, should by such a providence of God be made an instrument for the accusing of several persons of a grievous crime, whereby their lives were taken away from them, whom now I have just grounds and good reason to believe they were innocent persons. blood. Bravo! The most excellent apology, and so sincere. We were deceived. We knew nothing of it. You will not fool us, not again. There are no witches! No! The new book by Reverend Cotton Mather has already been printed, The Wonders of the Invisible World. We have proof. The world will know the truth. The truth? You think you're so snappy, so wise, able to see through Satan's disguise. But your ears are deaf to the ancient's call. Everyone dies due to little girl's lies. I assure you, that's not the case. At all! <laughs> Come! We once lived in I say, what an exquisite specimen of womanhood you are. I'd rather suck the boil off a donkey's arse. Beautiful, <laughs> life is beautiful. Oh, pardon me. Oh, pardon me. Oh, oh pardon me. I know I'm a baby. Is it possible that you might just Hey, well, miss, I might 
church may meet with storms, but it shall never sink. For Christ sits not idle in the heavens, but takes most faithful care of his little ship bound for the port of heaven. Together we can vanquish Satan's army of darkness, but only if the congregation supports my request for one small thing. I want a big house! One with lots and lots of land. I want a big house. Where I can shack up like a man. I don't like the sound of this. Something don't feel right. Thank you, sister, for your prayer. You're beginning to see the light. Eh? I can't hear him. What is he trying to say? today's lesson. He wants a big house! Oh, Reverend! I know we're behind on our tithe, and I beg you not to mention it to my husband, but instead of money, I've baked you some bread. Now, no need to thank me. My pleasure. Good day, Sam. Uh, good day, Anne. Excuse me? Uh, good day, Miss Putnam Jr. Miss Putnam Jr. Um, some more demands from your father? A list of citizens that have most grievously offended the great Putnam family name. Uh, did Daddy say anything else? Listen, mister, you like your job in Salem Church? You know, the job my father got you? Yes. Well, go get him. But to tell your father I'm eternally grateful for his support, and I will take care of each and every person on this list. But can we be a little more discreet? Let's uh, call it a prayer list. I don't want any appearance of evil. Are you giving orders to a Putnam? Uh, no, Miss Putnam Jr. I have multiple blessings on your family. Go in peace. That's more like it, Sam. Reverend, I want to join Salem Church. We'll have the congregation come visit you. Uh, and what would be the address of your house? I don't have a home. Everyone knows that. Exactly. God's house is supported by citizens spiritually and financially. If you can't even provide for your daughter, then what good are you to the church? Then to hell with you and your damn Puritan church! If you change your ways, then God will take care of you. I'm only trying to help. You hear that, Dorcas? That's our problem. Too many people trying to help. God will take care of us, nourish and nurture us. Providence will come for those who can wait. Our faith will carry us, so when they bury us, we'll know we rest well in God's own estate. And though God. 
and said to say to you that we're not so small and dirty to him. You're right, Dorcas. That's what we should be looking for. God will take care of us, even small and dirty people like us. He told me it's true and said to say to you. <laughs> I know it's a lie, but I'll pretend for you that we've been really mad to complaint against Goody Nurse, and I would like you to pray that I win in court. She is indeed a beast. I will pray for you. Do you know what she has done? Never in my life have I been more shocked. She is indeed a beast. I suggest you take her to court. I will pray for you. <laughs> but no guarantees in all cases the Lord's will must be done. If you can't guarantee that I win in court, then I want my money back. Providence does not smile on those without faith. You don't question the power of prayer, do you? No, I only question you. Rebecca Town Nurse, you just added your name to the Putnam family prayer list. I wanted to show you how our Bible study has grown. My sermons have lit a fire in them, and the youth of today resonate with my modern message. The Reverend is a very forward thinker. He's taught us about the age of reason. Really? I had no idea you were so modern. Very modern. He has even taught us about rights for women. Really? Yes. He's taught us that all women should have the right for a chance to find a good husband and not to lose faith in our future. One day, we may very well be worthy of marriage. <laughs> and it's true, girls. Dare to dream the dream. I am truly thankful for the joy. Shut up, shithead. So, Abigail, you promised we would have some fun. Well, why do I have to do everything around here? Let's dance. But we don't know how to dance. Well, then I'll show you. Give me a beat. It is forbidden to dance. Woman, you'll only speak when you are spoken to. Forgive me, sir. I'd be delighted. <laughs> now I'll show you how to really start a party. <laughs> Tituba, show them what you showed me. <gasps> Never do the voodoo. Ever. Please? Something? I've never had friends before. Okay. Tituba help you. <laughs> You girls think you know how to party? <laughs> and you, Junior, you call that dancing? 
That's what you think dancing is? In Barbados, we know many, many things. Now you see how we do it in the islands. So I tell you, when I was younger, my mama see me crying by the sea. She picked me up and wiped my tears, and this one mama said to me, you can go and cry if you want, but no one likes to see a girl. If you really won't be happy, you just put a lump in the room. Mama show me like this, and a little like this, and around, and around, and around, and she give me a kiss. Give me a little kiss. Mwah. Your mother would tell you that she loved you? Every day, Chad. On the island, we don't keep it all inside. We let it out, let the world know how we feel. I want to go to the island. OK, we go now. Teacher will show you. You ready to try? Mama show me like this. And a little like this. OK, so. Maybe you need a little more practice. Oh, so bad! Loosen up, yeah! Teacher will show you how to move. So we tell you when she was a young girl, her mama saw her crying by the sea. She picked her up and wiped her tear, and this one mama said to she, you can go and cry. Talk to me about being free. I taught her how to dance. Really? Yep. Okay, fancy pants. Then show us another dance. Um, I have a better idea. Abigail, you promised you wouldn't do that anymore. After I dropped the egg white, into the jar, you can all see visions of your futures. <laughs> Someone here, hide the egg! Uh. Oh, pardon me, I know what a food is! Is it possible that you might just have some food for my daughter? Get in here after court. Yes, keep an eye on her she don't start singing or something. What? Never seen a beggar before? Oh, it must be so scary for you. <laughs> Get up. Well, I know what that is. We're learning to cook. You're learning to do something here, aren't you? It's just a game. No, that's the first step down a dark path. Believe me, you're not ready for it. You're nothing but a crazy old rampant hag. This rampant hag knows the dark power of the invisible world, do you? What's the invisible world? There's a world And it's locked away like it's always been waiting for those who call it in. All around us in this place, there's an army of devils 
looking for innocent souls to chase. And once they get you on their hook, they take you to Satan to sign his book. Why would Satan have you sign a book? If you sign it, he gives you unlimited power in exchange for your eternal soul. Many years ago when life was new, I started the game just like you. It was innocent, or so it seemed. But soon the devil, he came to me in a dream. And what happened in this dream? He showed me a vision of the entire town Laughing and singing, dancing in gowns They sang to me and praised my name Beautiful Sarah, wonderful Sarah, the chosen one Their favorite one I was so happy but then came Satan with his black book. Did you sign the book? Satan, he promised me fortune and fame and the power to cast any spell that I say. But I ran away fast as he called out my name. The devil, he laughed. As the sky turned gray, he took my life and filled it with shame. A homeless beggar is what I became. Tell us more. There are many worlds in this. Creatures, invisible creatures, just going about their day. Can they hear us? Sometimes, yes. Can they see us? Sometimes, yes. Can they touch us? Can they smell us? <laughs> you think I play games? They can I am so sorry. Some folks don't have no manners. Here's your food. Oh, and it's cold outside. Teacher will get you some blankets from the barn. <laughs> Back to Bible, or Master Paris be very angry. I don't want to end up like Sarah Good. She's just crazy. Do you think it's true? She used to be like us. Sarah Good was never like us. She didn't have friends to look out for her. My father owns this town. And what if that changed? Then where would you be? You'd be just like Sarah Good, alone, with nothing. If we form a group and watch out for each other, then nothing can come between us. And none of us will end up like Sarah Good. Even though you're a little fat, doesn't mean you have to act like a brat. I will like you just the way you are. And if sometimes you're a little too loud, still to be your friend, I'd be proud. I guess I can be a little obnoxious. Uh-huh. Even though you're a little weird, even weirder than you first appeared. Did I mention creepy and real weird? And your head is up in the clouds Still to be your friend I'd be kind of proud If it comes time to fight We'll be ready To 
There was blood everywhere. Abigail, show us our futures again. She can tell our future. Anything's possible, if you believe. With an egg? Drop in the egg, but only the white. Add the water, just right. Sheva salom kura. Perfect words to recite. Shh. Look closely and you'll see the image of your future husband. Watch the chaos come to form. See the man for whom you're born. I know who it is. I can't see. Let me see it. Our watch too. I'm starting to see the image. My future husband. Who is it? Who will you marry? What is your future? It, it can't be. What do you see? It's, it's a coffin! Ah, 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 What's happened? I don't know. I don't know. Stop! 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 Betty, wake up. Come to the dance. But we're forbidden to dance. I thought you were angry with me. <laughs> Nonsense. Everything is fine. Life is beautiful. And I love you. I love you too, Papa. What's the party for? The party? It's for you. Beautiful Betty. We all love you. Now, dance. Thank you. 
That should put her under for a while. I have to tell you, this isn't the first time I've seen something like this. But Betty has been ill for several days now. She, she convulses and, and makes the strangest sounds. If you have experience in this, then, then why can't you cure her? Her recovery is a little out of my hands and more in yours. Betty's symptoms are indeed physical and very real, but the source of her illness comes from the invisible world. She is bewitched by an evil hand. I know it sounds hard to believe, but I've seen it many times. Uh, not only can I tell you it's a witch, but in time I can tell you how big the witch is. How big the witch is? Oh, the bigger the witch, the stronger their power. Betty is betwixt by an evil hand. Something from the invisible world is affecting her. It's all described here in this book. The Malleus Maleficarum. First, give her no food. We will starve the devil in the submission. Second, keep a prayer vigil at all hours. And third? Pray that this witch is a small one and that your faith is strong enough to cast it back. Who is it that afflicts her? We can't be certain of that until she identifies the specter that torments her. Her attempts to communicate with us will be blocked by Satan. We must compel it from her. Who torments you? Oh, the devil can block that too easily. Louder! Who torments you? You must be stronger than Satan! Who torments you? Who torments you? Stop that! You're hurting her! I'm a doctor. I need to be alone with my patient. You know, doctor, midwife no more than you, and midwife no need be alone with the girl! We not finished. My eye is on you. I heard that Betty is afflicted. I know how we can cure her. This is the recipe for a witch's cake. A what? A witch's cake. Now the recipe is a little bit strange, but follow the recipe exactly and then feed it to the dog. Yeah! Now, if the dog is afflicted after eating the witch's cake, then we can be sure that Betty is truly bewitched. Yeah! Are you listening to me? Now, if you want to save Betty, then you have to make this cake. I don't know. Take it. Stay away from her. We seem to have a problem with your slave woman. She doesn't want me to treat your daughter. She said something about a voodoo ritual with a boar's head, some snake's teeth with incantations. I never out now. No. I will beat you again, and this time I may not know when to stop. <sighs> I apologize, Doctor. My slave woman is not educated like we are. Take all the time you need. Thank you. I will.
try and stay awake. Teach your boys safe, you whatever they take. Recipe, show me just what you bake. Then have the power of which is king. Lizzie, the doctor's home. tell you about my day. <laughs> I had a patient so disgusting, quite an eyeful. <laughs> Trust the Reverend, he'll not go to his house anymore. I'm getting an education, sir. An education? You're a maidservant, you'll always be a maidservant. That's a lesson you'd better learn right quick. The Reverend says the Bible promises more. I can be more. You listen to me, this woman. This is fun, so delightful, aren't you jealous? So much fun, every day, all the same. When I'm dead, then I'll be done. I sometimes look to the rising sun and think of all the power and all the wisdom and glory that will one day most surely be mine. If you're sick, don't see Griggs. His patients are all guinea pigs. Keep your clothes on with that Griggs. Truth is, he's a filthy pig. I think you must admit, the world has gone to shit. Woman, rub my feet and more wine. It's perfectly fine. I'm a doctor. <laughs> <coughs> I do believe Betty is getting better. <laughs> Yesterday was much worse. Are you concerned for any of the other girls? No, not in the least. This is obviously a very personal attack. Satan has chosen to attack me through an innocent, defenseless child. Well, what about Abigail? Oh, she's not my flesh and blood. I'm certain Satan doesn't care about her. Eat! Give you more power. No be sick like Betty. I can't eat anymore. I've had five pieces today. One more. No! -uh! I baked that for the girls. Be strong in your prayers. We will yet show Satan he is powerless against our faith. <laughs> if your faith will heal Betty, then why is she still sick? Maybe your faith is too weak to heal her. <laughs> Abigail, come with me. We will yet show Satan that he is powerless against our faith. <laughs> How dare you question my faith in the very house God gave me. You will not enter my house again until you can learn to behave like a proper Christian lady. Children react best to a firm hand. She'll come around. The 
the first time I saw blood, it was yours, mother. The first time I saw blood, it was yours, father. Do you remember me, sweet Abigail, your daughter, the one you said that you would always Mother, I can't recall your face, but I remember the blood. Abigail's parents were slaughtered in a massacre. I, she's never been quite the same. I would rather be dead myself than without you. Just a little smile. She's so beautifully tasteful, exquisite and graceful Yet I can't seem to be what they want me to be If I can't become what they want me to be then I'll have to make them become what I want them to be I need help Sign the book. What now?
delicious cake? Yeah! Did you follow the recipe exactly and put very conflicted urine into it? Yeah! Just like recipe say I put urine into the cake. You should be cured by now. What was the dog's reaction? Dog? Last year's rye crop, yeast, urine. Urine! Tejubabe did not mean. You know what? Thank you, Goody Sibley. I will be talking to my slave about this. Tejuba is our witch! Well, I just saw her running away! Arrest her before Satan afflicts my entire family! Slowly between the toes. My hands! Satan afflicts my hands! Oh, good God, woman! If Satan afflicts your hands, then do not touch my feet! Yes, sir. Whatever you say. I would like some custard. Not now, child! Can't you see that there's witchcraft in Salem Town? Mother, I want some custard! Can't you see we are talking? Like some custard. Why wait for Providence to give you your treasure when your big chance may never come again? To wait for heaven's gift seems like a desperate measure when you know that you can have everything right now, not then. You go. Like you're just fine. I don't see that you're bewitched. We can't control it all the time. Oh, now I feel a little twitch. You're not afflicted by a witch. The truth is, you're just a little bitch. Oh, I'm afflicted! You have afflicted her! Yes. We'll see what the marshal has to say about that. It's gone to the marshal. They'll put us all in jail. The circle girls stick together. Bridget Bishop is a snitch. Maybe she's our Salem witch. Are you with me? Better watch your back here at Salem Town. You are a witch! You beat me all you want! Teach of no lie! I only bake the witch's cake to save Betty! Teach of a be no witch! I thought as much. Doctor! At your service, Reverend. I believe you know my slave, Tichuba. We've made an acquaintance. 
If you refuse to confess, the doctor has agreed to do a physical examination. A very thorough one. Doctor, tell my Barbados voodoo woman what the examination involves. I'd be delighted. <laughs> Witch's examination, it's very fun to do. A witch's examination, it's fun for me, not you. First I shave you head to toe, looking for a witch's mark that grows. Looking with a pin, one by one. Welcome to your witch's examination. Let's talk about our feelings. Mm -hmm. You can think what you like of me. I can tell I'm not your favorite. Yeah! Just remember that I'm the doctor. And you're the slave. Get over it. You taught me I did! Oh, with what? A voodoo spell? A shark's tooth? Huh? Teach him I be no way! Very well, let's continue. A witch's examination, it's creepy, it's cruel. A witch's examination, it always makes me drool. I like to check all the nooks and crannies. My favorites are the spinster grannies. Love to brush those cobweb sounds. Oh, um. How do you like a witch's examination? <laughs> you can call them in now. Betty! Will she confess? Since you won't be no witch! You would have my daughter executed? What? Oh, you didn't know. Well, if you don't confess, they will put little Betty on trial. Then her innocent blood will be all over your hands. Betty! I will always be here by your side. You Holding can your think hand what you like of home. me. I can tell I'm not your favorite. Night. We'll start together. Oh. I confess, to say Betty, I confess. Excellent. <laughs> so you admit you are a witch and that you practice witchcraft? Yes, yes. I the witch you're looking for. But it's not true. They told me if I would not confess, I should be put down into the dungeon and would be hanged but if i would confess i should save my life and yes betty i make it all go away teacher forgive them the witch but you tell your father the truth you let him know the teacher will be no witch father Tituba's not a witch. Oh. It was just a game Abigail and I made up. Betty, are you saying that the afflictions are not real? I will tell the town about Betty's confession. It's a trick. Tituba's power is growing and Betty is too young to fight it. Marshal Herrick, arrange to transport Betty away from Salem Town and to my cousin's house. I wouldn't want her to spread these lies. Father, I speak the truth! Hurry before she's completely lost to Satan! Yes, sir. Father, no! Please, Father! Congratulations, you are a confessed witch. It was wonderful doing business with you. <laughs> Upon a 
judgment from something I do before. Then I beg your forgiveness. I won't do it no more. I know a place where the sun is warm and the sky and rally brings a storm. And the people smile as they should And they treat each other as they want How it be And off in the distance what's that sound I know it's mama come to find me She was so beautiful Life was beautiful But a grain of sand Oh, we long to be free No, I have the power to fight the sea If I don't confess My future will be Teacher boy From a tree Like an animal, take away my dignity. If I do something wrong, I don't do it no more. I promise to you. But if this be a trick or some cruel game, then teacher, but the meaning of pain Reverend Paris You want the big witch Fine, I'll do what you say If you want the witch Then teacher forgive you Oh, very We hold trial to determine the severity of the accusations. A trial ordered by the governor of Massachusetts Bay? On what grounds? Eyewitness testimony by a citizen of Salem Town, uh, Thomas Putnam. Oh, Putnam, you say? I, I do know of him. Very well respected and of a good Puritan family. The governor would like us to start the trials at once. Is the evidence compelling? I personally prefer the preponderance of the proof to be particularly pernicious. Yeah, absolutely, sir. We have uh, eyewitness testimony, signed confessions, and solid spectral evidence. Spectral evidence? The girls are being attacked by specters, projections of a witch's spirit. Now, in order for Satan to project a witch's image, the witch must first grant permission. In this way, a specter is proof that a witch is in allegiance with the forces of darkness. All these procedures are clearly laid out in this book. The Malaeus Maleficarum, the witch's hammer. Is there a legal precedent for spectral evidence? Oh, yes. 
Many witches have been convicted through spectral evidence. It is perhaps the best legal tool we have for routing out Satan. How much time do you need to prepare? I am ready today. A new century is almost upon us. It is no mistake that Satan strikes at this time in the New Jerusalem. The battle has begun. It is only us, the chosen, the godly, that can save it. We must prevail. At stake are the souls of the entire world. There are reports of possession coming in from all over town. Salem must have a very big witch. Has Tichaba's confession been recorded yet? Yes. Excellent. We can put an end to this here and now. Not quite. In Tichaba's confession, she mentioned that there are more witches. What? More witches? Many more. Thomas Putnam is already in Boston to petition the governor for formal trials. I thought you had this under control. Uh, so did I. Marshal, I need to speak with you about these circle girls. Bridget, keep your trap shut. Oh, no. hell is about to break loose in Salem Town. What? You need to find the, and identify the sources so that I can make arrests. I will prepare the jail, but you should be warned. Tichipa said that one of the witches is in your household. Abigail, is it possible there's a witch in our household? No. If I'm blamed for creating this hysteria, they'll have my head. I could lose everything. I will help you find the witches. <sighs> Quickly. Yes, Uncle. And it will be beautiful. Fellow chosen, there are devils as well as saints in Christ's church. Christ knows who these devils are. It started in your house! Hypocrites are the very worst of men. Now is not the time to be divided. Satan is clawing at our very door. We must stand together, and together we will chase the devil on his heels! Amen! Amen. Tichiba says there's another witch in Salem. What? Who? Did she say who it was? No, only that it's someone that knows Reverend Paris. Well, what if she's lying? Exactly. My father gave me a new list of citizens that slander my family, and he is sure the witch is on this list. We need to name these witches before Tichiba spreads more lies. Let us turn our attention away from the girl's afflictions and back to God. Over? It's over? They'll forget about us. No, they won't. Any of you who doubted me in the past know that I will guide you and I will protect you. We are either saints or devils. The scripture gives us no medium. <clears throat> the Reverend says you can join the church and have free food if you sweep the walk. Oh, he feels very badly how he treated you in the past and he wants to make up for it. Here, it's very cold outside. This will keep you warm. Abigail, thank you. My pleasure. It's though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rock. <laughs> Even now, Sarah Good calls for the minions of Satan! What? And this witch attempted to join our church. <gasps> there is no doubt Satan knocks at our very door. There may even be one of you who at this very moment is under the grasp of Satan. Who's the witch in Salem town? Satan's here, just look around. We will find you, Satan. We will find you, Satan. We will find you, Satan. She's no witch. I saw the trick you played on her. 
I often see more than I should. I saw what you did to Sarah Good. My ears are bad, but my eyes are fine. Your sneaky lies have crossed the line. chosen. You must find all the witches of Salem Town. Our very souls are at stake. We must act now! Find those witches! Abigail, can I count on you? Yes, Uncle. Find those witches. Yes, sir. Like how? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good enough. Make it bigger. Who else? I was afflicted like this. <laughs>
The court of oil and terminal will soon be in session. I assure you this court will not be made into a mockery. And the fury of the crowd will uphold its verdict. My faith in God has always been stalwart. And it doesn't hurt. I went to Harvard. Harvard, is the evidence in order? Yes, Your Honor. More evidence that is needed. We have signed confessions, spectral evidence, widespread affliction, and supernatural occurrences such as witches' marks. Is any of the evidence tangible? It will become tangible. Excellent. By order of Sir William Phipps, Governor of the Province of Massachusetts Bay, the Court of Oyer and Terminer is now in session. The court calls Tituba. Slave to the Reverend Samuel Paris. No. You! Don't be stupid. Oh. Dr. Griggs, have you examined the accused? No, she refuses, as a witch would. I will confess. No need for examination. And she's feisty. As a witch is. When did you become a witch? Long time ago. A very big witch. And who employs you? Satan. Oh, no. Are there other witches in Salem Town? Ah, yes. Mini, mini witches in Salem town. Oh, are you getting all this down? Yes, sir. What names were signed in Satan's black book? Mini names, but it get worse. One big witch, Rebecca Town Nurse. At the court note, the teacher has named Rebecca Town Nurse. I would name them all if I could, but another I saw was Sarah Good. Sarah Good. Do you renounce witchcraft and beg forgiveness of God? Yes, yes, I beg God, forgive me. Your Honor, if her heart be pure, she may be saved. Roman Titiba into custody. The court now calls the witch by name Sarah Good. The court reminds you that if you confess and beg forgiveness, you will not be put to death. I have nothing to hide. <clears throat> nothing to hide, indeed. Just below her shoulder, I found a witch's mark. <gasps> Here's the tip of the knife. <sighs> Why do you have your specter attack this innocent girl with a knife? We have proof. That's the tip of my knife. Just yesterday, I was whittling, and she started talking to me. The tip of my knife broke off, and I left it lying on the ground. Give me that. She must have picked it up. It's a match. The tip is from his knife. What? Don't exaggerate in my court. Just tell the truth. Sarah Good cast a spell on my livestock, oh. and now they're all dead! Oh, yes. oh, 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 oh. Feathers, I was saying the holy commandments of our Lord. Well then, perhaps you can recite the Ten Commandments for us now. Very well. Perhaps just one. Recite any one of the commandments. On a good day, I can say all 20! Uh, Your Honor, if I may, it is common knowledge that a witch cannot recite the Lord's Prayer without making a mistake. The words are too powerful for Satan to overcome. 
Recite the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art... Which? She says which. You see, she cannot recite the Lord's Prayer. How long have you been a witch? I do plead not guilty. I am wholly innocent of such... We have put a covered into a trance! Why do you hurt these children? I do not hurt them. I scorn it to control their bodies. What evil spirit have you familiarity with? Uh, no spirit! Have you made no contract with the devil? No! Who do you employ then to do it? I employ no one! What creature do you employ then? No creature! I am falsely accused! Falsely accused, we shall see. Your honor, a witch's spell has no effect on a body that touches her. <gasps> what happened? Duly noted. The court now calls Rebecca Town Nurse. Ah! Ah! Take her! Take her! Get her on her! She's dead! I do not have much, but I have my honor and I have my good name. I have nobody to look to but God. playing a trick. Each and every one of these girls, treacherous liars, crying witch on every citizen they lay eyes on. This is no innocent game. This is blasphemy. You dare accuse this court of blasphemy? There's Goody Proctor, old witch. I'll have her hanged. Oh, God is my witness. I am wholly innocent. You dare cry witch on my wife, you insolent swine? Mary, speak the truth. The truth, now! I feel better now, and can tell the difference between reality and visions. Elizabeth Proctor is not a witch. It was for sport. A sport? sport? They openly admit to trickery and games. We will not dignify this insanity. Wife, come. The court reminds you to refrain from trickery or gaze. Yes, yes sir. sir. Rebecca Town Nurse, and on the accusations of witchcraft, this court of Orion Terminal and the province of Massachusetts Bay finds you not guilty. We can't let her go. She knows too much. Our inspector is pinching me! <laughs> Yes, your honor, yes, your honor, she's a witch, she's a goner. Return to the bench. What, sir? We just said I she is not guilty. Who up there, you're a witch. Your honor, I implore you to make a decision quickly. Uh, yes, of course, I, 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 I have here, hereby made a decision uh, quickly. Uh, the court is adjourned for the midday meal. What did you say? Time for lunch! What did you mean when you said you could now tell the difference between reality and visions? I am sorry for it. I will tell. She's come forward to save her own skin. They'll hang us by the neck. <laughs> Excuse us, 
Mary is late for her Bible study. What the hell were you thinking? Hanging us out to dry. You called me a liar in front of the whole town. I am through with this. Oh, really? You can just walk away just like that? I did not think it to be so easy. Maybe other things come easily to you also, like witchcraft. Look! This is the price I pay for your games! The bruises cover my body. John Proctor, he beats me for the witch's lie. Proctor beats you to protect his wife. Elizabeth Proctor must be a witch. What we are doing is wrong. The Proctors are innocent. They are all innocent. We are the Circle Girls, and the Circle Girls stick together. You can't just walk away. Really? Watch me. I cry Mary Warren a witch. That is what all of Salem Town will hear if you just walk away. Mary Warren the evil enchantress. Come on now, it, it's me standing before you. You will go before the judges and cry out a new witch or we will cry one for you. Mary Warren the witch. Your providence is your choice. I told you before, you're not welcome here. We represent the crown, and the crown demands that you serve us food and ale. You will have your food and ale. <laughs> Stoughton, we must have convictions on these witches. This, this spectral evidence, it doesn't seem real to me. But these afflictions are beyond the power of epileptic fits or natural disease. Even so, I sometimes wonder if Satan even really exists. Blasphemy! We must withstand the mysterious delusion of the power of darkness and the prince of the air. The birds! They're here! What birds? Where? Here! In this very room! Don't you see? We see nothing! Who commands you? Girl, you watch your step. Keep out of this, Bridget. I will not. We are tormented by Bridget Bishop. <laughs> You torment these girls with your specter! Stop it right now! Are you drunk? <laughs> I'm standing right here doing nothing! Liar! Stop bewitching us! I'm gonna bewitch you now, you little rats! <laughs> Judge Hathorne! Bridget is flying above your head! Yes, right here! She's right there! Stop! Away, Satan! This is a sign from God! Hear me, Satan! We will end your reign of terror this very day! By order of the crown! I knew you were a witch. Only a witch could resist this temptation. <laughs> Go boil your head. Oh. Please the court to state your name. Bridget Bishop, here to please the court. State your age. I am 60 years old. 60 years old? Why, you don't look a day over 30. Well, that's quite understandable. I do have a certain pizzazz. Oh, yes. And to wear a little makeup. Uh, uh, what is makeup? She looks young because she's a witch. What's a reverend doing at court? Hey, how much are they paying you? I'm not interested in money. <laughs> I'm a minister. I, I, my family is sick and I barely have firewood at home to warm them. Well, if you needed firewood, you should have come to me. I could certainly give the reverend some wood. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Spectators find Bridget Bishop's jokes funny and seem to find her innocent? How dare you write this case? You see, she's a witch! My job is to write what I see and hear. Your Honor, I make a motion that I become the court clerk and take oh. all official notes of the proceedings. <laughs> motion granted. Oh, <laughs> You make dolls, do you? Yes. Is that a crime? Citizens of Salem, I have personally examined these dolls. As you can see, they, they are much too small to be played with by a small child. 
There can only be one use for a doll such as this. Oh. Isn't it true you've been in court before under suspicion of witchcraft? They were all lies. I was found innocent. Mm. I walked away then, just like I'll walk away today. And you can all go back to your pathetic little lives. Isn't it true that you frequent bars and taverns? And that you play shuffleboard and other games of the devil? A game is no sin that I am aware of. We can tell by your loud, outlandish dress and your defiant demeanor in the face of this court, the crown and God. The crown! You can take this court and the king's crown and shove it up your arm! Oh, oh, how dare you blaspheme the crown! For shame, for shame, for shame! This crowd is turning on us. We, we, we must convict these witches or all of Massachusetts province is lost. Um, uh, goody nurse, her spectre is attacking us! <laughs> this is madness! Rebecca Town Nurse, approach the bench! But I was already found innocent. That was the first vote. Now we have a second. Uh, Judge Hathorn, uh, you should know that Goody Nurse is hard of hearing. Ah, much obliged. <clears throat> is your name Rebecca Town Nurse? Yes. Are you a witch? I said... Are you a witch? What is your next question? I said yes already. You said yes? I said yes. Are you deaf? Let the court note that when asked if she was a witch, Rebecca Town Nurse no. replied yes. No, I oh, didn't even the hear her. Yes. Silence! Silence! Oh. Rebecca Town Nurse, on the accusation of witchcraft, this court finds you guilty! <laughs> No longer torments us. Be fixed. Stop when you pronounce the witches guilty. Come on, we're running out of time. Stop this madness and sentence the witches. Yes, 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 yes. Of, uh, of course. Uh, uh, Sarah Good, also guilty. Up your arms. You blaspheme the crown. Your name, sir. Gaspoy. Gaspoy. He pinches me most dreadfully. Oh, stop it. You're lying. I, I've witnessed it myself, and so have my family. Let the court note that Giles Corey has made a pact with the devil in exchange for superhuman strength. What, what say ye to these charges? Father, please, defend yourself, or they will kill you. Makes no difference what I say. If I do not speak, they cannot cry me guilty. But if you just listen, listen, boy, if I speak, they cry me guilty. And if I am guilty, they take everything we own. I will not leave you and your mother destitute on the street. What say ye? Father. He is a dreadful wizard. No, You're a liar. Is it true? You cannot cry him guilty if he does not speak. Yes, it is true. So, if he will not speak the truth, we will press it from him. Giles Coy. You are hereby sentenced to pen for to do death by pressing. Bridget Bishop, do you have any final words of defense before this court declares its verdict? I will speak the truth gladly and freely. I am no witch. I am innocent. I know nothing of it. She's attacking us. Shut up. Bridget Bishop. Bridget Bishop. This court finds you guilty what? of witchcraft. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. But this is a joke. Let me go. This court orders you to be hung by your neck until you are dead. That's impossible. You can't just say that I'm a witch. The court has spoken. Hang her. Hang me. Hang me. You want a life full of fun? Well, how fun is it now? Bastard. Innocent indeed. Exactly the words you would expect from a convicted witch. <laughs> Bridget Bishop will get what she deserves. But for Giles Corey, 
His punishment was pain forte dieu. Doesn't that sound romantic? Pain forte dieu. It means hard and forceful punishment. Or more poetically, death by pressing. Since Giles Corey refused to speak the truth, it was decided that the truth should be pressed from him. First, they had to strip him naked. And perhaps it's best if I show you like this. First, a long board was placed on the ground like so. Then Giles Corey was forced to strip naked and forced to lay down upon that board. Another sturdy board was placed across his chest. Then they began to place large rocks on, his, on the board so that the weight would begin to press him into the ground. When asked to confess, Giles Corey said, More weight! <laughs> Those were his only words. So they added more rocks and more weight. Again, when asked to confess, Giles Corey said, More weight! <laughs> this went on for three days. With more rocks being added and more weight, began to crush his chest and his eyes began to bulge out of their sockets. At one point, his purple tongue stuck out and the constable had to poke it back in again with his cane. <laughs> Finally, Giles Corey was no more. And they say that Giles Corey was a dreadful wizard, but I think he was the most delightful witch of all. <laughs> the Sandwich.
is dead. I did not know innocent people would die. It's Abigail. She created all these lives. You have only yourself to blame and you will stop pretending that you are also bewitched. But I am afflicted. Afflicted? Truly? My children are not afflicted. Why? Because they know right well if they be afflicted, I will beat them with a stick. Doesn't that sound a mite queer to you? All the Puritan churches in all the world with all of their prayers cannot chase the devil away. But the great John Proctor can single-handedly make the devil turn on his heels with a stick. My belt will convince your afflictions to stop. And my fist will convince you to post a public apology recanting all these lies. There is your pen. There is your paper. Recount your testimonies now, woman. Husband, calm your temper. Not this time, wife. I will tell the court and the crown what I think. You know me, woman. I'm not afraid of them. Husband. Not now. I am a child. Your child, husband. But how? John, this is our chance to have a part in the new world, to fulfill divine providence. Divine providence? Bring a child into this world? A child should not be brought into a world like this, where madness reigns and honesty is piss. The world brings in its stench, its smell. How strong does God expect us to be? Wife, I can no longer hide in the shadows, pretending that the world around us has not gone mad. It's time to make a stand. John, no, please. Who will oppose the court and oh. stand with me in treason? Proctor, we will stand with you. Oh. I will also stand with you. You will recant to the court? I will. I, we stand as one. We will not back down, Proctor. We will see this through until its very end. We cry witch on Goody Proctor. What? She signed the black book. I did no oh, such thing. Good, Proctor. No. You cannot harm her. She is with child. What? Wait, what? If she is with child, we cannot execute her. Her unborn child has committed no sin. Abigail, silence him. John Proctor is a dreadful wizard. Oh. He, is, he commands all of the witches of Salem Town. Arrest him before he flies away. No! You can't do this. <laughs> you will not get away with no. this. I already have. Gentlemen, we have found another witch. This one infected by Satan himself. We found her wandering the streets. Do not be deceived. Look at her left forefinger. That looks like the bite of a flea. Or a snake. Yes. A witch is familiar in the form of a snake. Suckles blood from the child's finger. How long have you served Satan? Hello there, Dorcas. How old are you? Five years old? Oh, that's wonderful. Your mommy, she gave you a pet snake, didn't she? Now, Dorcas, good little girls don't lie. Your mommy gave you a snake, didn't she? And your mommy's a witch, isn't she? Now, Dorcas, if you tell the truth, you can be reunited with your mother. You want to be with mommy, don't you? Yes. Your mommy is a witch, isn't she? Yes. And you are a witch too, aren't you? Put the girl in jail and execute the mother.
It's almost hanging time. You've got two minutes. I am so sorry for what I have done to you, this town. I will understand if you never speak to me again. I beg for your forgiveness. Well, time is short. I have written a letter to the governor. Proctor's letter contains enough information to stop the trials. All the lies Tricks, deceit, are detailed in this letter, along with all of our signatures attesting to its truth. Is there a problem, Proctor? No. You've got one minute. This letter must be delivered to the governor. Can you do it? Oh, yes. I would do anything to free us of the devil's clutches, even to the grave. Tell no one, especially the Circle Girls. Until this letter is delivered, your very life may be in danger. Our fate lies in this letter. It's time. Last chance to confess that you're a witch. If it was the last moment I was to live, God knows I'm innocent. I'm innocent. And you? Come on. Mommy! Mommy has to go now. You need to be strong, Dorcas. Be strong for Mommy. To say to You will have my body quick enough, but you will not have my soul. John Proctor, do you have any final words? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy he says the prayer of our Lord. He will not be able to complete the verse. No wizard can. If he does finish without a mistake, this crown will turn on us. Ask me forgive those who trespass against us. 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. Marshal Herrick, arrest these people! Arrest all of them! Evil. All of them! But they deliver us from evil! in Salem. Girls, there are more witches. Who are they? Name the witches! I see the wife of William Pitt! She's a witch! <laughs> the wife of the governor of Massachusetts a witch? Are you certain? Of course they're certain! I know her personally. She's no witch. The governor will not stand for this! Maybe I was mistaken. Guess the governor's wife is not a witch. Mistaken? Well, then were you mistaken about any of the others? It was all so beautiful Each new day tasted perfect Life was beautiful Strange and beautiful Life was beautiful But it's over now! If these girls told God's truth, I give you my word, Abigail, tell them! Yes, Uncle. Tell yes, tell us, Abigail! Abigail! Well, you see, it's... Complicated. What? Huh? Girls, what have you to say to all of this? It's all so sad to see the people hung and died. But looking back, I guess we only had to say. Come to think of it, I guess we lied. He made no mistake in his words. And he had no devilish marks on his body. Well, perhaps he had a mark, but I didn't find one. On the men, I don't check so close. Could it be that we killed an innocent man? No, enough. And I would mind you to watch your tongue, for I fear it is now that you, that Satan now, has in his grasp. Do you yourself feel bewitched? Let no more innocent blood be shed. Stop the, stop the, stop the. I knew it! I knew the girls had gone too far when they accused the wife of the governor of Massachusetts! Free the prisoners! Just pay her fee and your slave can go free. <laughs> you recanted your confession! I do what you ask! In jail over six months now! You help me! Well, why should I pay you fine? You haven't even showed up for work. I've been in prison! It might take up to a year to find a buyer, and in the meantime, she would stay in jail. Find a buyer, then. But I'll keep your daughter. Violence! <laughs> Tichima was the source of the evil, not I! Reverend Paris, the congregation has voted. We have decided that you are the instrument to our miseries. You are hereby relieved of your duties to Salem Town Church. Very well. I'll sell my house and find a new church. No matter. And we voted to take away the deed to the parish house. My house? You can't do that, Marshal! Tell them! I'm afraid they can. It's their right. <laughs> Just a moment, Doctor. I've received several reports about your examinations. I'd like to talk to you about them. Ooh. In the jail. John Proctor? Uh, where is uh, John Proctor? We just executed him, sir. 
Really? <laughs> oh, I get so confused. There's so many names to remember. <laughs> I am the wife of John Proctor. Oh, uh, jolly nice to meet you. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, here's your bill. Bill? For what? Oh, for your husband's execution. <gasps> Somebody has to pay for it. If his letter to the governor had been delivered sooner, my husband would not have been executed. Well, that is true. Who oh, would have saved you some money? Uh, I'm curious, how many people did we execute? Sorry. Nineteen, sir. Is that all? Well, uh, one died during interrogation, uh, and uh, one man was pressed to death, and several died in prison. And how many did we put in that prison? Over one hundred, sir. Oh, then we were successful. Absolutely. A triumphant success. Oh, perhaps. I pray that history does not judge us too harshly. Sometimes when I reflect on all these events, I can't help but feel that... But, sir, what troubles you? We tried to create the New England as a, as a city upon the hill, but we failed in our duty to the crown. We should have executed more witches. by Satan, I earnestly beg forgiveness of God, and from all those unto whom I've given just cause for sorrow and offense, whose relations were taken away, or accused, I desire to lie in the dust and to be humbled for it, and that I was a cause with others of so sad a calamity to bring myself and this land the guilt of innocent blood. Bravo! A most excellent apology, and so sincere. We were deceived. We knew nothing of it. You will not fool us, not again. There are no witches. Liar! The new book by Reverend Cotton Mather has already been printed. The Wonders of the Invisible World. We have proof. The world will know the truth. There is nothing to it. We have all been changed because of it. But it cannot be undone or rewritten. Then it is true. What they say, everyone dies due to little girls' lies. Our reputations will be ruined. History will scorn us. And that's the story's end. I should thank you for coming forward with the truth. But for our reputation's sake, I wish you had apologized sooner. So, this is it. Our last time together. Well, we can meet once a month and keep the circle together for a little while. The circle is broken. Haven't you learned anything from all of this? What we did was wrong. And thank you for making a public apology. You were brave. Brave for all of us. The world needed to know the truth. And Mary... Thank you for standing up for what you believed in. I am sorry for the way I've treated you. Friends? Now, one more time, and then let us never again speak of the circle. I am truly humbled by all of this. Let us pray and reflect on the events of Salem Town, that it should never happen again. Good day. Good day. I noticed in church that you were silent during the Lord's Prayer. Come now, Mary, you must have a fever. Say it with me. Mary, you're becoming insane. It's over. Say it. Our Father, who art in heaven. I don't ask for much. Why won't you say it with me? <laughs> Lord's Prayer? Weak. Is that all you've got? You had your chance to leave. You should have taken it. Marshal Herrick, I need to speak with you. 
Hey, we must move quickly, Master. May I? Thank you. Asher Aina, bubble and boil, bring Mary Warren back to the soil. <laughs> Poor Mary Warren. You never could figure out what you stood for, could you? Master, Master we have a new have colony, a colony to, build. to build. And all the time on earth. And it will